Would you please welcome the lovely author and a wonderful friend of mine, Chrissy Nee! Hello! How are you? I'm so fine. good to see you. Thank you. Now, your reputation really precedes you, absolutely. Yeah, if you Google bestiality in my name, I'm first yeah. in Google. <laughs> really? Oh, God. It's hot. So, um, this is one of your favourite activities? Uh, it's something I had to do a little bit of research for, for my last book. And pretty much I tend to be the go-to person on bestiality now. So, just run me through it. That's people who like to enjoy pleasure with animals? Yeah, look, um, zoophilia is the kind of technical name. And I was doing my PhD and I was doing lots of like serious research on zoophilia, but I was yeah. also watching porn on the internet. <laughs> like people with animals. Yeah, look, that wasn't very fun. Sorry. I was looking at the extremes of sexuality and looking at how to present that to people so that they would be turned on by things that they would not normally be turned oh, okay. on in the book. So it was really looking at um, trying to take people past their boundaries. Have people found that kind of alluring? Look, surprisingly, um, I've had nothing but good reviews. So do you explore your own um, sexual stories in your book? So that, is that part of your what you do? Is it part of your, your storytelling? The, the first book. Not the second book. I'm not okay. into bestiality. The, um, the first book, which is called Affection, yeah. is um, a, a sexual memoir. So it was really my own story. Uh -huh. But my first book, Affection, is really about how even though you're monogamous, um, you... I think we as people, need, we're not really monogamous. People are not really yeah. monogamous. And so we kind of have to fall in love all the time yes. with different people. So, And I've actually, very recently, I have made a pact I am not going to fall in love with my friends anymore. So, or their husbands. Uh, well, <laughs> I, uh, most of my friends are guys, but I'm actually bisexual, so women will do. Oh, okay. Well, that makes a lot of more options open up then. Why would you close off your options? <laughs> Why would you close off half the population? <laughs> We're relieving all those great encounters. Was it a turn on writing it? Oh, you have to be turned on by the sex stuff, otherwise it's not sexy. Okay. So you do have to find yourself turned on by the bits on sex. So otherwise while you're writing it, you're feeling hot. Yes, absolutely. Oh, great. Yeah, absolutely. And you can claim sex toys on um, your tax. <laughs> right. That lady over there, her eyes lit up in the red spotty dress. <laughs> <laughs> so um, are you are you with someone at the moment? I, I have a partner who oh, okay. I've been with for 20... We just celebrated our 20th anniversary last oh. year. Get out! Give it up for the lady, 20 years! That's a marathon. Wow, so yeah. th that's how you keep the love alive. Uh, you keep the love alive by fantasy, I reckon. Yeah. That's how you do it. Because 20 years with someone, you really have to pretend there's someone else pretty much every single time you do it. Yeah, right. So does he indulge in the fantasies? I have no idea what's going on in his head. Oh. Uh, he's he, My partner is a very private, quiet, straight boy. And do you watch porn as well? I do watch porn. Not uh, Actually, not so much... Since I did the um, bestiality stuff and I got like a little bit kind of scared by watching all that sort of stuff, yeah. I haven't actually watched much porn since yeah. then, but I will go back to it. I'm sure I'll kind of... <laughs> what, what, what would you love to do? I would love to direct a porn film. Oh, my gosh. We need to make that happen. I would love to, and I would like it to be um, beautiful. I would like yes. it to be visually beautiful. I'd like it to have... I, I don't want story because it's all about masturbation so yes. porn is all about masturbation it has to be like you know three minutes so timed, timed. it's got to be timed to an orgasm yeah. but it also has to have a beautiful build up and a beautiful structure well thank you so much for coming in the love booth Chrissy you've been awesome and very educational oh, what a great lady so honest